everybody, this is Chad with round two, back again with another product spotlight video for May 2022 this time. And we're changing things up a lot this month. Instead of being in the round two warehouse, we're here in the round two archive center. So this is a building with a ton of stuff that we've done all throughout the years. A lot of cool product in here and we'll be kind of moving around and uh, putting, the, putting the table up in different places throughout the month, showing you guys what's new. So for May, there's a lot of new stuff. Uh, bunch of stuff came in from our factories this month. We've got, for 164th, three of the releases that we showed you guys before. There's going to be the, the second color variations. There's another new release in Johnny Lightning that we're going to be showing you guys. Model kits, there's nine new model kits to show you. There's two new 118 scales for Auto World to go through. There's three series of slot cars for Auto World we're going to be showing. And there's also a new series of mini metals model railroading uh, vehicles. So. We're gonna jump right into all of that. We're gonna start with the 164th. All right, so first off for 164th, we're gonna show you guys the new release for Muscle Cars USA. So this is six cars. We've got version A here. We'll have version B a little later. But first off, the 1980 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. This is a really neat looking one. It's in red orange color for this version A. And what I really love is that blue bird on the hood of it. Looks really, really cool with that red orange color. A great contrast. Super good detailing on this one. And a really awesome car. Next up, the 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Here it is in green. A lot of good detailing on this one too. You can see on the wheels there. It's got the white striping on the hood going over that hood scoop. Got the vents in the back of it. Really cool looking car. And the 1970 Dodge Coronet Super B here in black. You can see on the camera, it's got those red detailing along the back of it. Those silver, silver wheels on it. Got detailing on the hood scoops. And then fourth in the release, the 1965 Potty, Pontiac Catalina 2 Plus 2 Royal Bobcat. Here it is in white. Great looking features on that one. It's got red line tires on it. Black interior. And fifth in the release, the 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS 454. This is black cherry color. And the tan interior just looks great with that black cherry. Really brings the red out in that color. You can see the white letter tires on it. Nice chromed wheels. And of course the white, uh, white SS stripes along the top. And then lastly for this Muscle Cars release for version A, this is the 1967 Chevy Corvette 427. So this one's marked as new casting. This is another one that we have utilized uh, an existing Auto World Deluxe casting and made it better to the metal chassis. It has rubber tires now, that great marina blue poly paint, which is just the perfect color for that 67 427 looks really cool and of course we'll have the second color variation of these coming shortly that's it for a next we're going to show you guys we've got some johnny lightnings and some auto worlds these ones we showed last month uh, but we showed the other color variations so first off in this classic gold release the night the uh, ford torino talladega 1969 here it is in wimbledon white these are the version a's for this classic gold as well so it was the version B's that we showed the first time. Next, love this one, the 1979 International Scout 2 Midas Edition. So these Midas Edition Scouts are super cool. Uh, it's actually a an edition that was made in Elkhart, Indiana, which is really, uh, really right up the road from us here. It has these great graphics on it, the windows up on the top. It is just so cool looking, so late 70s. And that green is an awesome color, as I mentioned the first one was in gold matching the uh, card art here. Third, our new casting, that 1984 Ford Ranger XL. So this is the other color variation for this release. Light blue in this, two-tone with the white on the side. Great looking wheels and tires on that. Blue interior to match. Of course, detailed chassis. Uh, great, great new casting for that. Next up, the 1967 Chevy El Camino. It's got a light beige interior for this one. This is Royal Plum Poly is the color on this, so it has a kind of a purple tint to it. White line tires, chrome wheels. And fifth in the release, the 1980 Chevy Monte Carlo. Again, this is another new casting. First time as the 1980. 
Uh, the second color variation being in burgundy red here with burgundy interior. Has red color matched in the wheels and a lot of great detailing in that as well. Next up, this is another casting that moved uh, from the Auto World Deluxe line into Johnny Lightning with added details. This is the 2013 Chevy Camaro ZL1 convertible. Uh, has the soft top on it here. It's orange color and of course black for the top, black striping on it and black wheels. Really gives it a menacing look to go with it. So that's it for those classic gold releases. If you wanna see the other colors, check out uh, last month's video. We did some of these in April, some of them in March. Uh, next up, the OK used cars for Johnny Lightning. So we did show the other variation of these as well. These are version B. We talked about the OK used cars as a new thing that we're doing here. This is the 1973 Pontiac Grand Am. That second uh, color variation here is in this nice uh, tan color here. And it has a little darker tan interior. There's also some great red detailing along, along the hood there and along the side of the, of the window. Great looking car for that one. Also the 1963 Ford Galaxy 500, another awesome casting. Of course, all these metal chassis rubber tires, white line tires on this one, champagne color, really, really classy looking. Then third in this release, the 1997 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am WS6, of course in black, great looking color for this car. It's got, uh, gray interior with it gray seats in the interior as well uh chrome chrome wheels and cool detailing on the uh on the front and back of course fourth in the release the 1991 chevy camaro z28 1le so this has a great red color on it has a uh light interior light gray interior uh red color match tires and this is another casting that moved over from uh, Auto World Deluxe into Johnny Lightning. Next up, the 1978 Chevy Monte Carlo. So this is another variation of that new Monte Carlo casting we've been talking about. This being the 78, so it uh, has a different front and rear end from that 1980. We did do a couple different tooling variations to do 78, 79, and 80 for this one. Uh, this version B being in light blue poly with the white top. And then lastly, for OK used cars, 1976 Plymouth Velare Roadrunner. This is the color second color variation for that in silver. Burgundy interior, yellow striping along the side of it. Or kind of a gold yellow striping with black. Really fun, uh, fun casting for that. And then lastly, for the 164th, we do have our new Auto World release. We showed you guys last month the first color for this. This is the second color variation that came in. These being um, the version Bs. So this release first off the 2019 Nikki Chevy Camaro ZL1 1LE. Big difference from the color that we showed you last month where the car was all black. This is lime green, super bright. Has all the Nikki detailing on the side there with the stripe and the Nikki logo. You can really make out the, uh, the different colored black hood on this version that are on these Nikki cars. Black wheels. It's just a really, really cool... Uh, variation for that the square body in this release the 1986 chevy silverado k10 step side we showed you the first color variation for that this one being in white uh what's really neat about this one it uses our lifted chassis variation with the big knobby tires on it so it looks really menacing i love that about these true 164 scales uh you do the lowered version the raised version you put it with the other cars you can really tell the difference between the stance uh, and how you can make these trucks look. So tan interior on this and uh, white letter tires, a lot of cool detailing on this release. Next up, the 1975 Cadillac Eldorado. This is a really popular casting of ours. Uh, big luxury cruiser, big stretched out. Uh, of course, true 164 like all the Auto World are. So this looks huge next to the other cars. Uh, this color being Firestone Poly. It has a uh, red interior as well, and you can see it's actually a different color for the uh, top in the back there. A lot of cool detailing on that one. Next up, another big luxury cruiser of ours, the 1978 Lincoln Continental Mark V. So this is the other color variation for that. As I've been saying, this is uh, in gold, Jubilee Gold. has gold interior, gold wheels, and also... Um, 
different color here for the vinyl top. So it's almost like a tricolor gold going on. Another just awesome casting and a pretty new casting for us. We've only done it in a few uh, color variations so far. Next up, the 1973 Plymouth Roadrunner, the next color variation for that one in blue. Has the white uh, Roadrunner striping, of course, across the roof and down the sides there. All the white detailing around the hood. This is a casting that you guys had been asking us to bring back out. And so it should be a very popular one. And lastly, uh, what we talked about last month, our new 1973 Ford Mustang Mach 1. So the second color for this is in green. This is my favorite looking one. Um, I did mention last month, in case you guys didn't see the video, this was a new front end for this. We were doing the 71, the 72 before. Now we tooled that 73 front end, so this is the first release to be able to get that 73, and it just looks so awesome. So that's everything we've got right now for 164 scale. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys what we got for 118. All right, so jumping into Auto World 118 scale, we have two cars to show you guys. First one we're going to show you is a really, really neat one. This is... The 1965 Chevy Chevelle Z16. This is a muscle car and Corvette Nationals cars. Uh, part of that series where we go to Corvette, muscle car and Corvette Nationals. We find the car. We talk to the owners. We replicate their cars exactly how they show up at the show. And this is a super special one. Uh, done in Regal Red. The Z16 uh, came with the 396 engine. So this has that in it. There was only a little over 200 of the Z16s made. It's believed like maybe 72 are existing to this day. This one is a great looking uh, replica of it. It has opening doors, hood, and an opening trunk on this. Of course, the detailed engine, steerable front wheels, precise accuracy. And as we do with all these Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals cars, we even include information on the back so you can see the actual car that we visited. Got all the features, got all the uh, options down, down to those yellow line tires. All the cool little Z16 features on it and badging and the story on the back of the owner. So this has been such a fun series. Every year we try to go to the show, we usually have a, uh, have a special car for it. We set up a booth. It's really fun and we've loved uh, partnering up with these guys to bring a lot of really awesome stuff. So next up, switching gears. This is the 1959 Cadillac Eldorado Hearse, the Ratfink edition. <clears throat> this is a really fun fantasy car that we're doing uh, with our 59... Cadillac Eldorado casting here. Uh, this one is the rat poison car. So on the hood, it's got a skull and crossbones, kind of rat fink, says rat fink, uh, rat poison on the hood there. It's got this really awesome skull and crossbones rat detailing on the side. You got the green hearse curtains, of course, rat fink on the top. Just that really nice Ed Roth styling all over this car. That burgundy color looks great with the green and with all of our 118 scales, this also has opening doors and hood with a detailed engine under the hood, steerable front wheels, really good accuracy on this inside and out uh, with the detailed chassis underneath. And just a super fun, uh, fun release for this one. We have done um, some similar stuff coming out in Johnny Lightning uh, with the 59 Cadillac Eldorado hearse and some other variations of doing like ambulances and a lot of fun stuff that we were doing with these uh, with these 59s. So that's everything we've got for 118. Next we're going to jump in and show you guys the slot cars. So slot cars. Holy cow do we have a lot of slot cars for you guys. There's a new release for Legends of the Quarter Mile, some four gear cars. There's some extraction import heat cars for you. There's Thunderjet okay used cars which I'm going to go through. Different color variations for most of those. All in all 23 new slot cars to show you guys this month. So we're going to jump right into it. Starting with Legends of the Quarter Mile and the four gear cars. First off being uh, doing the Don the Snake Prudhomme Black Snake 2 car. We've been doing a lot of different variations of these Snake and Mongoose cars. They're very popular, been very collectible, and you guys keep clamoring for us to do other versions. So this first one here is in black with all the Snake 2 stuff. you got the winds detailing, you got the Hot Wheels detailing on it. Really cool. Um, love that car. It's a 73 Plymouth Cuda for this one. Next up. Don McEwen, 1972 Plymouth Duster. Blue here, got the Hot Wheels logos on the side, the red flames going down it. This is the Mongoose 2 uh, car for that 72 Plymouth Duster. And lastly, a 72 Plymouth Cuda, another Don the Snake Prudhomme. This is a white version. Has uh, all the flames on it. Of course, the Hot Wheels detailing on the side. Winds drags are detailing. And even the Goodyear white letter tires on it. Great looking release for those four gears. 
Next up, import heat. This is a huge one, extraction import heat set. First off, our brand new tool, the 1973 Datsun 240Z. I love these cars. I actually have one in my garage, so I've been waiting for this to come out for quite a while. Love these color variations. First one being in silver here, has the black and red striping along the side of it. Um, it's just such a cool looking car. Here, uh, we did two color variations in this import heat set. So the next one is yellow and red, number 16 on the side. These are kind of that old SCCA style um, race cars for this Datsun 240Z. We did a couple variations of this uh, new tool too. This one is more of a uh, stock looking one with the headlights, um, no spoiler, and the bumpers. And later on, we'll be doing a racing variation of this casting. So second in import heat, the 1995 Mazda RX-7. Two really cool um, variations for this one. First one being in gold, has that Japanese red rising sun on the side of it there. Carbon fiber um, on the roof, on the hood, on the wing, on the back. And just really cool detailing on this one. Been loving all these import heat cars. Second, blue and red livery. Great looking car for this one. Again, a carbon fiber hood on it. Carbon fiber on the wing. Looks like a drift car variation. And just very neat. Super great looking import heat release. 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse. This has been a fun one to do. Not a lot of people do um, second gen Eclipses. So it's really fun to bring this one out. White and red on this first one here. Got the racing number on the side. Carbon fiber hood on this one as well with the carbon fiber on the wing. And a lot of awesome detailing and all the little logos and sponsors on the side of it. Next one, super cool looking color for this. This is in gray. Also carbon fiber hood detailing with these graphics on the side of it. Looks awesome for that. And then one of my favorites here, the 1999 Nissan Skyline GTR. First one, super cool looking uh, GT style jo uh, paint job on this, like the Nismo cars. The red and uh, silver look great. We have done this um, same livery in Johnny Lightning in the past, and we actually have it coming out in a Johnny Lightning uh, 350Z 2-pack that'll be coming out later on this year. Looks really awesome for that one. Second variation here, more of a Japanese look. Has that red, uh, the red sun on the side of it. Nissan detailing and these cool black um, black striping on the back. White letter tires on that one as well. Uh, Bridgestone Potenzas on those to go with the import heat release. Super fun thing for extraction. We got a lot more coming out for that. Next, jumping into Thunderjet. We've got six cars for this. Two color variations for this one. Uh, doing the OK use cars as we just did in the Johnny Lightning, but with all these Thunder Jets, first being the 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 429 in white. Has black hood scoop on it. Great detailing on the front and the back and all the little details for the doors, the badges. These Thunder Jets are super fun to race. Uh, next being a red-orange color. Again, all the black detailing on that one for the hood scoop and the spoiler. Second, OK used cars, 1969. Chevy Yanko Nova SS. So the first one is not the Yanko. The first one is blue. Uh, has black black uh, vinyl top on it. And fun, super fun looking Nova here. The second one in green is that Yanko car with the white striping um, along the sides of it. The Yanko stripe along the side and the white racing stripes on the hood. Third in the release, the 1969 Pontiac GTO convertible. First one here. This is in that uh, really dark plum color, or a dark reddish plum color. Uh, has a black vinyl top on this one as well, or, well, a black convertible top on it. Red line tires, and the second variation is in green. Red line tires on that one also, which look great, and that black convertible top. Next up in the release, fourth in it, the 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS. First variation in gold. Has the vinyl top on this one with the black SS striping, white letter tires. The second variation here is in the gunmetal gray color. Has the white SS striping along there. And again, a black vinyl top and white letter tires on that one as well. Then the 1970 Dodge Challenger TA. First version in pink. White roof on that. TA striping on the side, black hood and white letter tires. Second variation is in this uh, kind of cinnamon orange color. Also a white top for that one. 
and all that TA detailing along the sides. And then lastly, the 1970 Plymouth Cuda. First here is in black. Red detailing on the side of that. Looks really awesome on it. And white letter tires. And the second variation is in a teal blue green. White letter tires on that one as well with that black roof and all those cool little painted details on that. So that is a ton of stuff for slot cars. Next we're going to jump in, show you guys the model kits. So jumping into model kits, we've got nine kits for you guys this month, a big month in model kits. We're going to start off with a pop culture kit, which is really fun. This is the Batmobile from the Joel Schumacher movies, the uh, Batman Forever Batmobile. So we acquired the tooling for this one, all new box art for the front of it. It's really fun. This is a super fun Batmobile. I actually saw one of the real ones out in Florida last month. It is so over the top and cool. It kind of has that uh, vintage style Batman feel where it was a little more cartoony. Uh, these movies are kind of starting to be a little more loved and it's super fun to bring this out. So we'll be doing some other stuff from the Joel Schumacher Batman movies. Some of the cool options with this one when you build it up, you can see all the decals that come with it, the water slide decals uh, to do the hubcaps. This is a really neat... Um, Neat way that this one goes together. First off, you also can do the canopy open or close. You can do the fins open or close for the back of it. And it also has kind of separate pieces here where the engine is. There's cut out body panels, so you get a little depth when you build it. It looks really awesome. Uh, rear turbine engine, you got chrome engine details for it, the detailed cockpit. Uh, it's injected in black, so you don't have to paint it if you don't want to. Um, vinyl tires, chrome wheels, and the tinted clear windows and headlights for it. So this should be super fun to build up and keep an eye out for the other Joel Schumacher um, Batman vehicles that we will have coming out here. Next up, another crazy fun fun one, the Barris T-Buggy. So it's been a while since the Barris T-Buggy has been brought back out. For this release, uh, we expanded the decal sheet in this one. Um, it's got this vintage style packaging, which we kept. There's a bunch of chrome parts in it. And there's some pretty cool options for how to build this T-Buggy. So, um, Variation here, you can see there's actually three different tops uh, for this Barris buggy. The truck buggy version, which is my favorite, the Landau buggy version, and the open buggy version. And then some of the other cool features on the kit here. You can see it has a Corvair engine that it comes with. It's got the roll bar, headlamps, bulb horn, plated uh, gas cab, Indy front and rear tires. This is a really fun kit. And there's a look at that parts tree on the back of that kit. So it's a pretty easy build, should go together uh, fairly easy. These Barris kits are always fun, they're always popular. Another one we've got for you guys that's a super fun kit, has not seen the light of day in a little while here, the 1980 Dodge Ram D50. This is a Coca-Cola uh, series kit. There's a lot of really fun options in this kit. Uh, first off, it does come with four uh, Coca-Cola bottle crates, and then there's decals that are with the kit as well to do up those crates uh, Coca-Cola style. Same with uh, the decals for the truck, so you can get a look at all of those here. And a lot of fun options with that. But with this kit, you can build it as a Coca-Cola kit if you want to. You can build it as this little hauler, but there are a lot of other really cool options that come in this. It has an optional turbo engine if you want to build it with a turbo. It has these optional bucket seats that come with it. There's, a, uh, of course, the bottle crates that I mentioned, custom chrome wheels. But if you look at the parts tree on the back... There's a lot of other fun parts that are with this kit. There's some uh, fender flares that you can put on it. There's actually subwoofers that you can put in the trunk. There's a front uh, front valance, I think, for the kit. And of course, you've got your decals and all this other stuff. You can build this truck up in a lot of different cool custom ways, so really build it any way that you want to. It's gonna be a really fun kit, and we're really excited to bring that little truck back out. Those 80s trucks are super hot right now. Uh, next, we're gonna show you guys this is the uh, next release for our 76 Chevy Caprice. So uh, really fun kit with this one. There's actually a lot of cool uh, extras in it. So it does have the car, but it does come with a full trailer as well. And there's even a light bar for it. So uh, we included a bunch of different options with this kit and the decal sheet here that you can see. If you want to build it as a security vehicle, you can do that. Use the light bar. You can build it up as kind of a barn restoration thing. Build that trailer up on the back. We've got a racing team decals on here. We also included pad printed white wall tires, which was something that was kind of missing from the other releases that really make the car uh, look right as a 76 Caprice. And then you can see 
some of the other options here as well, how that functional trailer works, the V8 engine, it's got West Coast mirrors, and then some of those uh, security or police style options that are on the kit. And there's a look at that parts tree on the back, so this should be a super fun one. With these mid-70s era cars, again, kind of coming back up in popularity. And the, the artwork on this is great too. This is actually new box art that we had made for this kit. You can see the trailer in the background, so great looking packaging for that one as well. Next up, for our rear engine AA fuel dragster, we're re-releasing the Copperhead uh, version for this. Bunch of chrome parts included in this one. It's got pad printed rear slicks with it, expanded the decal sheet. There's also a, uh, a bonus mini box with this kit. Um, if you guys remember us doing the mini boxes, we included one in this kit as well. Here's a look at some of the other options on the kit. You got that fuel injected supercharged engine, wide mag wheels, front airfoil stabilizer, got the skinnies for the front, Goodyear slicks, and there's a look at that one piece body shell and you can see how that frame builds up, the tube frame here. And then there's a look at that parts tree on the back. And next up, sticking with the dragster cars, we have the release for our Ram Chargers funny car. This is the Dodge Challenger. Uh, really fun kit for this one. It's got pad printed drag slicks on it, uh, remastered decals to do the Ram Chargers version, vintage style packaging. What's cool about this kit, uh, we did a Polar Lights Charger Funny Car Kit a little bit ago, um, which had a box art of another a vintage photograph, actually was taken from the same race that this photo was taken from. You put the boxes side by side, they're, it looks like they're sitting in the same exact area. So uh, really fun consistency between these old uh, drag car kits. Some of the uh, other kits that we've put out in the past, the other Ram Chargers kits, if you want to build them up and do them together. And then the options on this kit, there are a couple cool things that you can do with it. There's open shoots, which is fun. And then you can do the shoots closed if you'd like to, depending on which way you want to build and display it. Of course, the tubular funny car chassis. You got the fat tires, blower engine, the scoop. And that's a Hemi motor that's in this kit as well. And there's a look at that parts tree. And then lastly, for the smaller kits, the next release for our 40 Ford Coupe Coca-Cola version. So this is the uh, 40 Ford Coupe hot rod um, kit. There's some pretty cool options in this one as well. It's got, if you can see on the side here, you got a racing hood, you got pad printed red line slicks, you got this big drag engine that comes with it, uh, 401. And here's a look at all the decals that come with this kit. And the parts tree on the back. And then lastly, we do have two more big rig kits for you guys. First being our US mail license. This is the Ford C900 tilt cab tractor. So this kit uh, was done as a hostess kit. Uh, this is the US mail version. A lot of really fun, uh, really fun pieces to this kit. This is a, uh, a big one, a lot of parts for it. So you can see some of the highlights here on the side, that big uh, 534 cubic inch V8 engine. You've got the air conditioner you can do on the top. You've got the, all the fuel tanks. This door actually slides up and down on it. And then you can see how that tilt cab functions once the kit's all built out. Photos there of that assembled model. And a look at that big parts tree on the back. Build out the truck and the trailer together. And then lastly, we have the next release for our van, uh, Frohoff van trailer, the beaded panel trailer. So we did a couple months ago, uh, this Rat Fink, Rat Fink kit here. You can see the International Transtar. So this is the matching, the matching trailer to build up with that kit. Some of the cool features with this, um, there's a lot of, of neat stuff. The doors swing open on this kit as well. But the big thing is the decal sheet. The decal sheet in this kit is giant. I mean, it is huge. If you look at the size of that rat fink on the side of it, you can have a lot of fun with the way that you, uh, that you build this kit up. And again, look, just looks perfect with that international kit. So we have the trailer now to build up with it. And then here's a look at that parts tree on the back. So that is everything we have for model kits. Lastly, we're gonna jump in and show you guys all the mini metals. Mini metals, model railroading accessories. So we've got 
a lot of cool stuff coming from Midi Metals here. It's been a while since we've done a release. Uh, now there's a ton of stuff all coming together. We got HO scale, N scale, uh, some of our Coca-Cola stuff, and some really fun uh, other releases coming out. So first off, we're going to show you guys the 1941 to 46 Chevy bottle truck. This being the Kool-Aid version. So this is back when Kool-Aid was actually doing soda pop instead of the Kool-Aid packets. Looks awesome with that yellow and green uh, two-tone and the red bottles in the back, red bottle crates in the back. And then the other variation for that, of course, the Coca-Cola uh, bottle truck. This one in classic yellow uh, with black on the front of it and the red wheels. Great looking variation for those Coca-Cola, that Coca-Cola license there. Next up, that 1975 Buick Estate Wagon. So this is one that we've really only been able to release a couple times uh, as a newer tool for mini metals. First in Verde Green uh, with the wood panel on the side of it. Of course, I know it's a Buick, but it always gives you that kind of family truckster vibe with that wood grain on it. Should look great in a layout. Next is in Bittersweet, the color here. Also the wood panel on the side of it of that 75 Buick Estate. Also in the release, uh, this is the, a new mold, the 1976 Chevy Stepside. So we've been doing these square bodies in mini metals. We did three colors for this one. Uh, first time we've done it as the 76 here and with the, uh, with the Stepside bed. So first one is in Hawaiian blue. Has white striping along the side and some on the, uh, on the top there. Second is Midnight Black. And third, Tangier Orange. And sticking with the Chevy trucks, we also have our 1955 Chevy Cameo. First here being an ivory and red. Got red inside the bed there, red along the, uh, along the windows. And just great detailing on that. All, all the bumpers, all the little things on, uh, on the, uh, all the detailing along the side. And you got the red and ivory uh, version here. You can see the badging uh, on the side of that one as well. Red wheels to match. Of course, the ivory inside. And third, for the 55 Cameo, black and red. So red in the bed, which looks great. Uh, and then black black wheels with the uh, silver centers. Next up, we got our 1954 uh, International R190 flatbed truck. This one comes with shipping crates. Uh, yellow here, this is actually cow care. Uh, so the crates do all say cow care on them. And it's got a cow care on the bed. Yellow uh, color matched wheels for that 50s International. And then the second version here is malted milk. So this one actually comes with 55 gallon drum loads uh, of malted milk to put on it in a brown color and brown color matched uh, wheels for that one as well. Next up is the next release for our 1960 Ford tractor tanker trailer set. So using our Texaco license, the first one is Texaco truck. You can see the red tanker here, all that Texaco uh, all Texaco logo big on the side and on the door as well. And then for the second variation, we've done a uh, vintage style Golf gasoline in that famous Golf blue and orange. It even has a uh, another vintage Golf logo on the back of the tanker here um, and on the doors. Then jumping from the HO scale to the smaller N scale, we did these trucks uh, on, on our 1954 Ford uh, tractor and tanker trailer set. So the first one being the Texaco. Of course, in the two-pack, how we always do the N-scale. And then the Golf Gasoline here in the two-pack. And the 75 Buick Estate Wagons are in an N-scale two-pack as well. Same colors. we got the Verde Miss Green here. So tiny. Looks so cool. And then there it is in Bittersweet. So that is everything we've got for mini metals, model kits, slot cars, diecast 118, diecast 164th. It was a huge month, so I know there's been uh, been some delays in some of the other months. There's a ton of stuff coming in now that we've been working on. We've got you can go to round2corp.com, check out the stuff we got there, all of our new tooling. We also have new t-shirts and hats that are available on autoworldstore.com. This one being the Johnny Lightning, Johnny Speed Shop. There's variations for AMT, MPC, Johnny Lightning, Auto World, all of our brands that you can now uh, buy and get some, some uh, good-looking apparel. As I said, go to round2corp.com, go to our Instagram pages, go to our Facebook pages. Thank you again, guys. 
We hope you like these videos. There's going to be a lot more to showcase. We'll see you next month.